Pretty big playlist update coming to the MCC just now. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all the information in this video, please make sure to stay tuned about the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about a playlist update on the MCC. If you guys like these news information video videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the changes here. If you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, Please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you updated with anything going on on the channel and Halo just in general. So let's get right into the video here. So Halo Waypoint just got an update here from Postums talking about the latest update that just came to the MCC. Just a minor little change here. So it's going to be a rather short video here. Uh, so we'll just go right into it. So that was a you know, significant change to the 1v1 playlist saying that the uh, teams have been enabled in the head to head for the following games. To make it so you can no longer view your enemies after dying which seems kind of like a big like oversight to not have that disabled or enabled however you want to look at it i think be able to see where your team where you were killed from in a 1v1 is kind of unfair i mean obviously it's probably not that big of an advantage because most of the times so it would probably be close enough to where you would get killed pretty easily and be able to see like oh i got killed from that guy over there but uh, the changes came to ce Halo 2 had a classic, Halo 2 anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo 4. So all the Halos in the in the MCC got that change for the 1v1 playlist. And onto the social games here, 8v8, the big team battle for Combat Evolved. The timer got lowered down to 15 minutes. Thank God, because those games would go on forever. Especially a lot of the way that a lot of those maps are designed that you really don't end up ever getting to the uh, the flag ends of just being a really elongated Slayer match. Uh, they also enabled the flamethrower and the fuel rod from Halo PC, which is pretty freaking cool. You know, I've had a chance to play around the flamethrower and the fuel rod a little bit because uh, I have CE on my PC. And um, basically, you know, the fuel rod plays like the fuel rod and the flamethrower is just kind of like basically like the flamethrower from Halo 3. Uh, not too crazy with that. I think maybe with like the slower movements and things like that, uh, the flamethrower might act a little bit better. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's just a like, cool addition because we never get a chance to play with those weapons. Uh, until now, I'm on the console when it comes to the CE, so that's pretty dang cool. Uh, it said also adjusted vehicle sets, so each team receives one Warhog, one Rocket Hog, two Ghost, and one Scorpion. Continuing on with the social game aspect here, 4v4 Halo 3 Snipers got a couple changes here. They have the Beam Rifle now is present on the map, which is pretty great if you run out of ammo. And they also disabled the radar. That seems kind of odd because I remember traditionally that radar is disabled when it comes to Team Snipers. I don't really mess with Team Snipers too much. I never really liked that game mode, so that's why I never really played it. But, you know, for Team Sniper fans, there you go. And also going into competitive games here, the Halo 3 Lone Wolves playlist. Slayer, King of the Hill, and Oddball have had Magnum secondaries added to all AR start variants. Again, there are plays I haven't really bothered with too much because I haven't really, I just kind of play MCC very socially. Uh, I don't really bother to try to rank up or try to do anything competitively in that. Uh, if it's just AR start variants, I can only imagine that just being just constantly just people running at each other, spraying, spraying, and meleeing the entire time. I can imagine that not being the best experience. So adding the Magnum, though being a very weak gun in Halo 3, I think is a great addition. To at least have some form of a precision weapon where you can get ranged kill. There was also one bug fix added into this, this uh, update here saying fixed issue where incorrect strings were displayed in the main menu as well as in matchmaking search selection. I don't know what that means, but hey, that's an update for you. Something was fixed again for the MCC. Yeah, just a real quick update for you guys. Uh, nothing here talking about the South by Southwest update, which you know we're definitely looking forward to, and I will talk about that as soon as it comes available for us to, get to know what uh, it's coming to the MCC at South by Southwest announcement, which South by Southwest is happening in March, the weekend of the 16th. So, you know, we'll definitely keep our eyes on that. I'm still highly debating about going to that event uh, if i can work it on my schedule i uh, definitely will be able to go if i can't sadly enough that's the situation that's going to happen if you guys want to stay up to date with anything coming to the mcc please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because you know we talk about halo all the time on this channel if you like this kind of video make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the playlist update here check out the videos on the screen if you miss any content from me i'll catch you all in the next video peace out